All right, before you start Monkey Madness, you're going to want to go to Karamja and kill a monkey and take the bones. You're going to need this for the quest. You can't buy him from the GE, so go to Karamja and get yourself some monkey bones. It has to be from Karamja or else it won't let you do the part of the quest. All right, so this is going to be a pretty long but easy quest. I recommend having at least level 43 prayer and level 10 thieving. But you're going to need a gold bar, a ball of wool, monkey bones from Karamja, and five bananas. You can attain them at Ape Atoll, but you can just keep the five bananas with you. I'd also recommend bringing anti-poison plus plus or super anti-poisons, some prayer potions, some super energies, a teleport option, which you don't really need, you can just... Honestly, used to home teleport, and um, either a one-click teleport or 200k coins if you want to skip the puzzle. To begin the quest, talk to King Narnode at the Gnome Stronghold. He's going to tell you that since Glog's plans were foiled, he has appointed a new head tree guardian named Dario. He sent a royal guard to decommission Glog's shipbuilding activities, but he hasn't heard back from them, so he's going to send you to the island. Of Karamja to see what's going on and he's gonna give you the king seal. They'll go to the top floor and board the gnome glider and go to Karamja and run to the shipyard. Try to open up the gate and you're going to get stopped. And you're going to have to show him the King's Seal. And the guy's just going to tell you that, oh, he hasn't seen one since Glow has been around. So once you get let in, run to the building to the south. So once you're in the building, talk to Glow Karanak. Very suspicious. Talk to him, he's not going to give you any useful information. So you're going to have to return to the king. So once you're back at the king, you let him know what went on. And he's going to write you up some orders. And tell you you must talk to Dario. He's going to be on the floor above you. In the east side. In the blueberries bar. When you're done talking to him, just climb up the ladder and run east. And look for Dario. So you're going to show him the king's orders and he'll let you know that he's been appointed to lead the recon mission to investigate the 10th squad's whereabouts and to communicate with Sergeant Garcourt, the squad leader. Alright, for this part you're going to want to go through all the dialogue options until it says let's go. And he's basically going to blindfold you and take you to a underground military base because the location is confidential. So once you're here, talk to Waiter, and he's going to explain to Dario that the squad's standard gliders have been blown away by the tropical weather, and we need to use the superior versions. The only thing is, Glow, he pretty much screwed with the mechanism, and it will shut down periodically. So he wants you to reinstall everything. So a little bit southeast, you're going to want to run to this mechanism right over here, and you're going to either pay 200k to do the puzzle, or just do the sliding puzzle yourself. It's pretty easy. I'll, uh, I'll put up the picture so you can see what it looks like. So if you've never done a sliding puzzle before, they're really easy. You're going to want to start with the top left row, and just keep going 
from the first one to the second, third, and fourth. And also you're going to want to pay attention to the clouds because if you put the wrong cloud in the wrong spot, you're not going to be able to finish the puzzle. So I'm just going to leave this here for a reference. You can just pause it. But if you want a deeper explanation, I will put one up where I finish it. So you'll start with the first row. You make it look exactly like it does in the picture. Then you go down to the second row. Make it look like the picture. And then the third row. So for the bottom one, you do the bottom two left. And then you go from left to right and make sure you do the two bottoms on each one. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Feel free to look, but if not, I'm going to put a skip ahead button. And if you really want to skip it, you can pay 200k just to skip this part. But save your money, just do the puzzle, it's really easy. See, and just like that, the first row is done. Now you want to go back to the second one. And then do left to right on that one. Then when you're done with the second row, you're going to go to the third row and do left to right again. It gets easier the less you have to move.
Alright, when you finish the puzzle, you're gonna get this little cutscene. And you're going to talk to Waiter. Alright, you're gonna to wanna to say yes, and he's going to fly you to Crash Island. So when you're on the island, talk to a gnome by the boat named Lumdo, and he's gonna let you know that everyone sailed because there's really strong winds. And you're gonna ask him to sail to the island, and he's gonna tell you no, he doesn't want to take you. So after you finish talking to him, you're gonna have to go back to Waiter, and he's going to order Lumdo to take you to the island. So once he orders him, you're going to get a cutscene, and it's going to be of Glow and the foreman talking. Once you're on the island, be careful. There's level 14 jungle snakes, level 24 scorpions, and level 88 jungle spiders that are aggressive and poisonous. You're going to want to run from where the marker is all the way to this gate in the middle. You're going to want to have protect from range on, or protect from missiles. If you don't, you're going to take heavy damage. So just keep running, and you're going to want to run all the way up to this door. Equip your Protect from Range right about here, and you're going to start getting pelted with arrows. Just keep getting pelted, just get to that gate. And you're going to get knocked unconscious. So you're going to want to sip a little bit of anti-poison here and talk to Lumo. They're, he's going to let you know that they had no luck, but they're going to suggest you try to lockpick the door. If you get too close to the gate while lockpicking, you're going to get hit hard if the gorilla is near you. So you're going to have to wait for him to be walking away before you lockpick it. So wait until the gorilla is about at this spot or walking the other way. And quickly run. Run north to the, girl, to the grass. Then you're going to want to run east to this other building right here. I'm going to pull up the map and show you where we need to go. From this spot here, to that building right over there. So run south, keep going, just stay in the grass. You're going to hit by archers right here, but as long as you're in the tall grass, you're okay. When you're ready, speak to Garkor and tell him about your mission, and he's going to tell you that he was the one who wanted you for the mission in the first place. He's going to be eavesdropping on the king, uh, the monkey king. I'm not going to say its name because I'm going to butcher it. He's the self-proclaimed king of the island, and he's going to tell you that his buddy Zuknok will be 
able to help you talk to the monkeys. You can either go to him now, but before you do that, I recommend you getting the things here before you travel there. So for this part, you're going to need a gold bar, a ball of wool, monkey dentures, and a monkey amulet mode. We have the gold bar and the wool, and I'm going to show you how to get the monkey dentures and the monkey amulet mode. So from where we're standing, we're going to want to run to this middle building and enter it from the south. And that's going to be the safest way to go there. You will get attacked, but just watch how I do it. It's really not so hard. Just keep, keep running. Alright, once you're in, you can search this crate right here and get bananas. If you're low on health and prefer bananas over using your other food, just keep picking bananas and eating them. So the monkey dentures are going to be in this crate right here. But if you approach it from a way like I did it, you're going to get thrown back in jail. And you're going to have to run all the way back. So approach the crates from a safer angle like this, search it, and get your monkey dentures. After you get down, we're going to want to search the most southeastern crate and climb down. You can fail this and take up to 3,200 damage, so make sure your health is a little bit high, or else you can die. When you're down here, you're going to want to go run to the northwest and search one of the crates, and you're going to find the, the monkey amulet mold. It's going to be this crate right here. Make sure it goes to your inventory, and you're going to want to home teleport to Edgeville. Make sure to refill your inventory back up with food. You're going to need at least a prayer potion. And you're going to want to take the spirit tree back to the gnome stronghold. Once here, talk to Dario, go back to the military bunker, talk to Waiter, and get teleported back to Crash Island. Then board the boat to Apatol. So I'm just showing you this the first time because next time I'm just going to say return to Apatol. And this is the way I do it. Alright, so we're going to be running to Zooknock. So run to that dungeon there and climb down. So Zook is going to be all the way at the end of this passageway. You're going to want to turn on Protect from Melee, and you're going to want to expand your minimap. And it's going to make this a whole lot easier. Uh, this is where you would need your super energies. I don't use them because not really a big deal um, If you're a lower level, I would recommend it But yeah, just keep running you'll make it there eventually So 
expanding your mini map just makes it one less click. It's more convenient. Just keep going. There's going to be traps coming up, and if you have level 30 magic, you can just surge past them. But they won't really hit you that hard. Just keep going, I'll skip ahead to Zook. Alright, when you finally get to him, he's going to tell you a story of how he got there. And he's also going to give you a list of items he needs. So you make a monkey speak amulet and to transform into a monkey. You're the perfect candidate because humans are close relatives to monkeys. And gnomes are not. So after this whole conversation, you're going to hand him the ball of wool, the gold ball, the monkey dentures, and the amulet mold. And he's going to enchant the bar and give it back, and also give you the monkey amulet mold back. And he's going to tell you that you need to go to somewhere sacred for monkeys in order to enchant it or smith the amulet. So when he gives you back the enchanted gold bar, I recommend you just home teleporting back to Edgeville, refilling your food, and go back to Ape Atoll. I'm going to skip ahead to Ape Atoll. Alright, once you're here, just get yourself thrown back into monkey jail, make sure you put on protect from range, and try to open up the gate. Alright, once you're in jail, you need to get into the temple to the east of you. So you gotta escape from the north side again, and be careful, don't let the gorilla hit you. See, if he's walking like that, that's the perfect time to do it as well. But since I missed it, I have to wait around. I'm going to skip ahead till the part where I escape. 
All right, so the temple is going to be right over here to the east, and you need to get down the trapdoor right there. Once you're inside, I recommend killing a gorilla because it's going to save you a lot of time in the future. Kill one and take its bones and don't bury them. It's really easy to kill if you have a hellbird, just use the safe spot right here. These used to be level 150, but they nerfed it, made the quest very easy compared to how it used to be. Alright, so you might have to kill more gorillas just to get into the trap door because they block it. But just follow this path right here. There's the trap door. I'd also recommend you killing a ninja monkey because you need that as well to access the agility course. When you climb down the trap door, make sure you have protect from melee on, or else you're going to get hit pretty hard. But while you're down there, kill a zombie monkey. A big one or a small one. I, I'd prefer to go with the bigger one. And then once you kill it, take its bones. Do not bury them. And then the fire pit right next to you, you're going to want to use the gold bar on the fire and you're going to get the monkey amulet so once you get the monkey amulet use the ball of wool on it to make the monkey speak amulet equip it and climb up the rope you're going to exit the temple and run to the north So from here, run to the west, and we're going to be talking to a monkey child to get an item called a Gree Gree. Alright, so be careful running into here because these red monkeys can put you into jail. You're going to have to talk to the monkey child right there, but you have to wait for the monkey's aunt. She does a you know continued path over and over again. You're going to want to wait for her to get a little distance away before you talk to the child, or else she'll be going back to jail. Once the ant moves from that spot right there, you're going to run up to the monkey child and talk to him twice. You're going to tell him that you're his uncle, and he's going to let you know that he wants to give his aunt 20 bananas because she needs help. He's going to be at that innocent age where you just give him five bananas and he's going to think it's 20. Once you give him the five bananas, you're going to run into cover and wait for the ant to pass again. See right there, it's cutting it close. You're going to have to wait for her to pass. Okay, talk to the child. Give him the five bananas. Now you're just going to have to wait. 
for the ant to pass by. All right, once she does, the monkey's gonna say he got a new toy, which is the Gree Gree we need. So take it from him, drop it, tell him you lost a toy, and he's going to start crying. Pick back your Gree Gree, go into cover, and wait for the ant to pass by again. This will get you multiple Gree Grees, so you can use all three of your bones, or four, if you did. So get as many Gree Grees as you need. You need one per bone. Once you have all the Gree Grees you need, you're going to want to teleport to Edgeville, restock your inventory, and we're going to have to go back to Abatol. Also, make sure the monkey bones you got, one of them has to be a monkey from Karamja, or else it will not work. So home teleport to Edgeville, restock your inventory, and I'll meet you at Apatol. Alright, once we're here, we're going to have to return to Zook. Just run back to this dungeon, make sure you have protect from melee on, and run through the entire passage. Remember, it's easier to have your minimap expanded, so you don't have to click as much. So I'm going to skip ahead. So for this part, it is very important to right click and use the ears. So I'm going to talk to him, give him the Gree Gree, he's going to enchant it, and then you got to two right click the bones and give it to him. And he's going to give you a monkey a talisman so you can transform into a monkey. Do that for each of your Gree Grees, give him the talisman, and then give him the bone. Once you make the first monkey talisman, a cutscene will play. Alright, once you have your talismans, the rest of the quest is a breeze. Now you have to return to Ape Atoll. For this one, I just recommend just walking through it as a monkey, because you'll get through it without getting attacked. You'll just have rocks falling on you. So now return to that gate and just open it. As long as you stay in monkey form, you won't go to jail or get attacked. So you need to walk all the way back over to Garkor, who's by the King of Monkeys. And he's going to want you to pretend to be a envoy from Karamja. So you have to seek audience with the King. So for now, just return to Garkor. So talk to the monkey at the head gate. And he's going to tell you you can't get in because you got to talk to the captain named Crook in order to get audience with the king. So lucky for us, it's a very short distance from here. Just follow the path that I do. It's going to be right over there. It's not too far. So I'm going to have to skip ahead to that walkway. Climb up the ladder here, go across, climb down, and speak to Kruk, and he will let you have audience with the king.
So talk to the king, and you're going to play the part of the envoy. He's going to tell you that he doesn't really like Karamja monkeys because they think they're inferior. So in order to have a pact with him, he's going to want you to be resourceful. And he's going to want you to rescue a monkey from the Ardoin Zoo. So after the conversation, home teleport to Ardoin, run to the zoo, and turn yourself into a monkey. Near the cage, there's going to be a monkey mender. Talk to him in monkey form. And he's going to throw you into the cage. And then in monkey form, you're going to talk to a monkey in the cage and you're going to ask if they want to be free. Once it climbs into your backpack, you're going to want to turn back into a human and talk to the monkey mender to escape the cage. Alright, so you need to get back to Apatol, but the only thing is if you teleport at all, the monkey's going to disappear. So you have to walk back to the gnome stronghold Go up the stairs, talk to Dario, and do the whole thing with Waiter and the Crash Island. So I'm going to skip ahead there, but I'm just going to let this run through just in case you don't know how to get back. Here it is again.
All right, once you're here, you're going to want to go through the gate and talk to the king. All right, talk to the king, and he's going to make an alliance with you since you rescued the monkey. Once you finish with all that dialogue, return to Garkor. So he's going to tell you that your efforts were probably in vain because the monkey king made an alliance with Glau to kill the 10th squad. So here's the cutscene. So after the cutscene, he's going to give you a 10th squad sigil and don't equip it right away because once you do, you're going to be teleported to the fight. So I recommend going to the bank, getting your best armor, your best weapons, bring some weapon poison plus 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 if you're using combat because it can be poisoned. It's level 70 with 15,000 HP. So I'm going to skip ahead to where I gear up. If you're not feeling confident, bring a one-click teleport or wait until you're a higher level. Just bank the sickle. See, I have base stat 40 skills, so I think I'm in a right position. Which I was. So once you click the sickle and equip it, you're going to get teleported to another cutscene. I also have level 28 HP and I did an okay job, I'd say. So the 10th squad will help you fight them, so uh, pray protect from magic and just hope for the best. You'll win it. I'm just going to keep this up if you want to see the fight, but if not, I'll see you at the end. You were supposed to be able to have a safe spot over here like a long time ago, but I guess it doesn't work anymore. So just keep doing your best. Alright, once the demon is dead, talk to Garkor, and he's going to want you to relayed a message to King Narnode. So speak to Zook to be teleported out and get yourself back to the Gnome Stronghold. 
So once you talk to the king, you're going to get three quest points, 10,000 coins, and three diamonds. But also, if you speak to the king again, and then he's going to want you to talk to Dario for special training, you're going to gain a total of 110,000 experience in four skills. You get either 35,000 experience in strength and HP, or 35,000 in attack and defense. Whichever one you don't choose, it gets 20,000 for the other two. So this is the best part about being a low level and doing these quests early on, because it greatly boosts your skills dramatically. I almost got 50 defense from this quest, and I've only done a few quests to get my skills up. You also get access to the Dragon Scimitar, which is pretty cool, but you do need 60 attack to use it. So run to Dario and pick which combat options you want to do. I hope this quest guide helps somebody out. Uh, till next quest. See you next time.